appreciate it. And uh, thanks to all of you for taking the time to join us today to view this incredible 10th generation Civic sedan that we're going to be bringing to the market in just a few short weeks. And we're incredibly excited about this car and all that it represents for, uh, for Honda. You know, in a few minutes, we're going to hear from our U.S. R&D team about the high bar that they set for themselves in the development of this new Civic as they targeted the world's best C-segment products to completely reinvent Civic for a new generation of buyers. And of course, the sedan that you'll experience today is really just the tip of the iceberg. Over the next 18 months or so, we're going to be rolling out a series of new Civic models uh, as Robin alluded to, including the new coupe that launches this winter, followed by our first ever five-door Civic hatch, new SI variants, and finally, the radical new Civic Type R. In short, we're about to embark on the sportiest, most expansive Civic lineup in our history. And this new Civic is really just the latest in what's being heralded by auto analysts and experts as the most aggressive new product cadence in the business. But we think it's more than just that. These new Honda cars and light trucks are all class-leading products that are bringing to market incredible new value. For the past year or so, <coughs> our focus has been primarily on strengthening our light truck lineup. And it started with the significant refresh of the 2015 CRV with a new powertrain, more premium interior quality, uh, and also the launch of our Honda Sensing suite of technologies, and all rewarded with the Motor Trend SUV of the Year Award. This spring, we added the all new HRV as a gateway SUV model and customers responded very positively to its sporty styling, refined interior, and incredibly spacious and versatile packaging. HRV was the best selling CUV on the sales charts the first two weeks it came onto the market. So we think that's quite an accomplishment in that short period of time. And we're increasingly confident in our ability to meet our annual sales projection of 70,000 units. In August, uh, we completed our light truck trifecta with the launch of the redesigned 2016 Pilot, a decidedly more premium and sophisticated take on Pilot design and family functionality. With a more powerful and uh, efficient direct injected V6, the most sophisticated all-wheel drive system in the segment and class-leading safety, demand for Pilot since its launch has been incredible as we continue to ramp up production. Now with consumers shifting their buying preference to light trucks, we also believe that we have the light truck lineup uh, that's one of the best in the industry to take care of their needs. And we'll work to further take advantage of that next year with the introduction of the all new Ridgeline truck in the first half of 2016. And that'll be followed by the redesigned new Odyssey minivan later in the year. But as important as our light truck investments are to capture customers moving from cars to trucks, the reality is that we sold more than 40,000 Accords and over 30,000 Civics just last month. And together, uh, CRV, Accord, <coughs> and Civic remain on track to combine for more than 1 million units in sales, and that would be for the third consecutive year. And starting last year, we've taken a major step forward on the car side of our business as well. A year ago, we introduced the all-new Fit as the gateway to our passenger car lineup, and it too has been incredibly well received. This fall, we're adding production at our state-of-the-art Yori plant in Japan to boost supply of this popular model. In August of this year, a substantially refreshed 2016 Accord also hit the market. With its dramatic new front and rear styling treatments, it's also retuned and re-engineered its chassis and a host of <coughs> added feature content, including our first application of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And the Honda <coughs> Sensing suite of technologies is available on every model and trim. And now we're putting an exclamation mark on the year of Honda 
with the launch of the 10th generation Civic Sedan. A complete front to back, top to bottom, from the ground up remake of Honda's most iconic and top selling nameplate globally. We told you part of the Civic story a couple weeks ago at our world debut events in Los Angeles and also in Detroit, where we talked in broad strokes about the ambitious remake in Civic's 43 year history. Today, the development team is going to complete that picture and share with you the detail of the challenging spirit and innovative thinking that underpins this 10th generation <coughs> model. This is also the first time that Honda in North America is serving as the lead global plant for the Civic. And specifically, that's Honda of Canada manufacturing with additional production from our plant in Indiana. You know, there are actually almost as many innovations in the new manufacturing technologies at these two plants as there are in the new Civic. And you'll hear about some of them today. In addition to the North American plant taking the manufacturing lead, this is the first time that, uh, that a U.S. R&D team has led the development of Civic Sedan and the platform that will underpin all of these Civic models. And they're part of a global all-star team of Honda designers and engineers that have made it their mission to ensure Civic's place as a clear leader and as a benchmark in the compact class. And all that to recapture the sporty essence of Civic while advancing its design and performance on a global stage. In returning Civic's, Civic to its roots as a fun to drive and yet fuel efficient compact car the team didn't simply set their sights on the typical on the typical segment competitors in North America. Rather, leveraging Honda's strengths in powertrain innovations and packaging, they targeted world-class levels of ride, ride refinement, precision steering, cabin quietness, and high-speed stability. And they did that to set a new benchmark in the mainstream compact class. When you boil it down, you could say this team has really swung for the fences to deliver not just an incredible new value proposition, but to create something for our customers that they never saw coming. And despite current market trends, we believe that the 2016 Civic is going to bring new energy to the compact segment to result in a year-over-year -year increase in Civic sales next year. <coughs> so. I am really proud to represent this car and our brand at such a thrilling time in our history. We've got tremendous momentum behind us with a clear hierarchy of HRV, CRV, and pilot on the light truck side that mirrors our cadence of fit, Civic, and Accord on the passenger car side. So without question, the strongest, most well-balanced lineup of products in our history is now in the marketplace. And turning this podium over to Gary, uh, Gary Everett, I want to thank Gary and the entire Civic Development Team for their incredible challenging spirit and for demonstrating to the world Honda's continued commitment to delivering exceptionally innovative products that define the market. 